Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how we can create this glitchy distortion effect that I used on my previous intro, uh, as you can see right here. Towards the end of it you can see some distortion, some RGB split I used as well, uh, which you can see here. Uh, it's quite easy to do, uh, it takes about I don't know, 10 minutes to do, it is very easy so let's go ahead and get started. Now there was one thing that you need extra to be able to do this and that's a glitchy stock footage video which is free to download online. Uh, this is the video that I used to be able to do this by Footage Iron, it's free to download. I'll leave a download link in the description as well so you can get that. And all it is is just a glitchy crazy video here. And this can work with any sort of glitch stock footage pack but I just use this one for the demonstration. So let's go ahead and get started. In After Effects we're going to import our logo which we have here and we'll create a new composition 1280, 720, 30 frames per second <clears throat> and we'll import our logo and we'll just scale it down to fit. Right now to do the distortion effect you want to go ahead and import that stock footage which is here and we will just drag that in on top of our logo and you don't need to see this so you can just turn both of these switches off. Next we'll do a layer new adjustment layer and add the effect under distort displacement map and this is what's gonna skew and distort our logo. So this will appear here and under the displacement map layer we're gonna choose that stock footage which we imported and immediately you'll be able to see some changes happening to the logo here. There's a few controls that you can change under here, the horizontal displacement, you can crank that up. It depends how how much of a displacement that you actually want. So if we just render that out quickly. <coughs> you see that might be a bit too extreme for what you want, but it still looks good. You can also change the what is being displaced, so you can change the color channel, which again you'll be able to see a slight difference here and the saturation, so that's going to give you different looks like that. Now to transition it on from the glitch, all you need to do is shorten the adjustment layer to the beginning of the composition, so we're going to trim that down just about, mm, about there, half a second maybe. And we're also going to duplicate that layer and add a few more within the composition just to add a bit more randomness like that. And we can go into each one and maybe change these values though slightly. And under this one we'll do a little bit less. And finally under this one do a little bit less. And you'll see now when we render this out it glitches on and then stays on. So that's partly how I created the fragment intro, but I also used an RGB split which I think adds to the whole effect, and we're going to go ahead and do that now. So to do that what I did was I renamed our logo there to red, duplicated that there, blue, duplicated one more and called it green. Now under each of these layers, if we come to the effects and presets, we're going to search for an effect called Levels Individual Controls, which you'll see here. And we're just going to drag that onto each of these layers. Drag it onto there, onto there, and finally onto the, the red channel. Okay, so once this effect has been applied, and you'll see the color levels here and the three channels that make up the logo. Now, this is the green layer. And you can see under green, the output white is 255. Now we want just the green layer, so we're going to go ahead to the blue and red and change these values to zero. And you see that's made it completely green. Under the blue, we just want the blue to be shown, so we'll go under the red and green and change these to zero. And that's made it just blue. And finally, the red, go to the blue and green channels and make it zero, zero. So you'll be able to see. We have red, green, or blue, sorry, and green. 
obviously you won't be able to see the bottom two layers so we're going to go ahead to the transfer mode of the green and the blue channels by this mode here and if you can't see this just press F4 to toggle between so under green go to normal change it to screen under the blue we'll change it to screen and you'll be able to see it's returned to the original logo however when we offset these layers so like this you can see a an RGB split happening so if we offset both of them you can see that now to create the wiggly effect that it did in the intro we're going to go ahead and do layer new null object and we'll rename this to RGB split and we're going to apply an effect under expression controls slider control and this will pop up here and we'll just lock this layer so now you go ahead and want to choose the layer that you want to be distorting so you can either have the red, the blue or the green the green there uh, we'll do the red channel for now and we're going to hit P for position and this will pop up here and all we're going to do is alt click on the position type wiggle com uh, bracket and for this example we'll do 10 which can be any value you want depending on how high it is will depend on how frequent or how extreme it is and we can do comma grab the pick whip tool and we'll click and con drag it onto the slider control here and you'll see this pops up and we'll end it with an end bracket and then just click off that layer you can close this down and you'll see now nothing has changed because this slider control is on zero but you'll see when we crank this up to maybe 20 when you play this through we're going to get a crazy RGB split with along that now to animate this what we can do you can go to the start of the composition crank this up to maybe 50 and we'll click the stopwatch button next to the slider to set a keyframe we'll go forward a little bit and we'll maybe put this down to zero and if we hit U under the RGB split layer you can see our keyframes and we can also hit this layer again to put it onto zero maybe crank it up one more time go forward a bit put it back down to zero if we highlight all these layers right click keyframe interpolation change this from linear to bezier and you'll see that now these are smoother keyframes similarly you can hit F9 once these are highlighted so now once we get, go ahead and render this you can see that we've got a nice distortion effect going on here if we play it through once one more technique that I used as well we can go to layer new adjustment layer and we will rename this to glitch and under the effects and presets we're going to go ahead and type in TV and you'll see these three items appear here we're going to go ahead and use weak click and drag that onto the glitch and you'll see it's completely destroyed the logo but if we go ahead on that and we're going to mask out just a portion of the, the logo maybe like this maybe a bit bigger so you can see like that you can play around with these effects here so you can change the wave height uh, you can change the amount of noise but what we want to do we, we want this layer to only appear for a few frames so we'll go ahead and just trim this down to maybe three frames we'll zoom in here and we'll just place these randomly throughout the composition and go into each each layer and we'll just change the mask to make it vary a bit more and we'll do one more maybe here and we can shorten it a bit and then that is pretty much it if we go ahead and render this out you'll see we've got a nice glitchy logo that we can use in intros, promos, anything in which you're going for a cinematic -y corruption look. So that's pretty much what I did 
to create that glitchy effect that you can see in this example here. Uh, I also, around this area, you can see the, the lines, this TV effect coming in. But we've also got this sort of, this effect here, where you can see the darker spots. To do that, I just copied the, if we uh, unlock this layer, by the way, just to get rid of that. I just copied this screen glitch stock footage and put it on top here and set the transfer mode to multiply and we'll just turn off that speaker and if we add a background as well uh, make it black shove it at the bottom you can see this only going to be affecting the whiter parts of the logo as you can see there so what I did was I just turned down the opacity a little bit and I shortened the clip uh, we'll find a good spot for it. So once it was trimmed down a bit, I just moved it to the start. And when we scrub through this, you're going to be able to see a lot more glitchy effects going on. Maybe turn down the opacity a little bit more. And you'll see when we render this in finally, you're going to see this happening. Okay, so that's the steps that I did to do this. You can see the RGB split being used at the end here. That glitchy effect. And once you've got your background and your logo and your cover correction all sorted, this is going to look like a really nice glitchy effect. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll probably be doing more tutorials in the future, so let me know what you want to see. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.